Oh, good. You were very good. I just wish you weren't so shy. Oh, yeah. He's no, a bit it's shy, a problem in my he? life. Yeah, a bit yeah. shy and retiring. A little bit. Um, well, you get a little rest there in the, in the sun. It's very sunny, isn't yeah. it? My am goodness I, me. Can anyone see me at home, or is it, am I all bleached <laughs> out by the light? There we go. Um, so all of the people here really enjoyed that, and all of you out there. And we have loads and loads of questions, Andy, from right across uh, the UK. So we'll try and get through as many as we can. Lovely. Maybe surprise you with some questions you've not been asked before. But before that, we've got uh, a young lady in the second row here that we're going to give a microphone to uh, from Cumley Park Primary School. Uh, and what's your name? Karina. Karina. Hi, Karina. And what's your question for Andy? What was the most unfortunate thing that happened to you in a supermarket? What's the most unfortunate thing that happened to me in the supermarket? <laughs> um, yeah, right. Well, I get this. I, I get asked this question all the time. Um, obviously, yeah. uh, <laughs> that's pretty random, you know, isn't it? Uh, well, the most unfortunate thing is probably um, I don't know. I, I think it was probably when I accidentally uh, accidentally put a man into my shopping trolley and bought him, <laughs> and sort of uh, and uh, he had a barcode stuck to his cheek, so it rung up properly. He cost about nineteen pounds ninety nine. I took him home. Put him in the freezer. I never saw him again. <laughs> That's probably the most embarrassing thing. Thank you very much. Have you had something bizarre happen in a supermarket? Um, no, not really. No, no just but you just thought, thought just thought it was worth asking on the off chance. Well, maybe you're onto a story there that you should write. Possibly. Possibly. Thank you very much, Karina, for that most unexpected question. <laughs> unexpected item in the bagging area. Now, um, here we go from... Um, this is from Hiroshi in St Joseph's School, Andy, uh, who asks, did you write any other books apart from Mr Gum? Hi, Hiroshi in St Joseph's School, wherever you might be. Um, I've written a couple of other books. I've written a book called The Story of Matthew Buzzington, which is about a boy who thinks he can turn into a fly. And I've got another book coming out called Sterling in the Canary. And I'm hesitant to mention this, but unfortunately, I've just had a really, really horrible picture book come out called Here Comes the Poo Bus. Oh. Which is really lovely. If you've got any younger brothers or sisters, try and keep them away from it. It's horrible. It's just about a great big poo that drives through town, being driven by a toad and picking up insects. It's horrifying. <laughs> So yes, I, I love I love the mix of expressions from our audience here, and I'm sure there's some some loving that and some appalled. Some actually going to write to their local MP. Oh uh, yeah, yes. I'm going to do that too. I hope um, so. Here we go with another of those um, rather specific or random questions. This is from Emily, also at St Joseph's. We've got the monopoly so far. On the first book, you're a bad man, Mr Gum. How could Mr Friday marry Mrs Lovely if she's already a Mrs? Okay, so in the first book, Friday O'Leary asks Mrs Lovely if if he'll marry if she'll marry him. And uh, yeah, she's already called Mrs. Lovely. Well, I just thought that it was funny that she's called Mrs. Lovely, and I don't know the answer to that. Oh, there you go. I like to put stuff in that confuses me, actually. I understand about 98% of my own books, right? Oh, am I up there, though? <laughs> Aren't I ugly? And uh, You're on the TV. I'm on the TV. <laughs> yeah, it's worse than that. It's going much further than just that screen, let me tell you. <laughs> There's a lot of people in the wider world seeing this thing right now. <laughs> um, oh yeah, I put about 2% of jokes into every one of my books that even I don't understand. That okay. keeps me interested. Good, okay. Yeah. Um, this is from uh, Daniel P3A at Carmen Dean Primary School. Hi, Daniel. Hi, Daniel. And Daniel's question is, why do some pages have fingerprints on them? How did they get there? How did the fingerprints get there? So some of the, uh, some of the pages in my books have this sort of grubby mark all over them. And uh, the idea is that that was just a design, a design idea by the people at my publishing house, Egmont. They thought it would be really cool if it was really grubby. It's almost like as if before you've even read the book, Mr. Gums got to the book and been looking through it. So it's just because it's just we like grubby stuff, we think yeah. it's funny. Do you like the fingerprints? Yeah. 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 Good, good. And you can add your own fingerprints as well, anytime you like. Chocolate, ink, anything, <laughs> you know. That's as long as they're thing. not library books. As, not, as no. long as they're not library books. You know the worst thing is when you get a library book and someone's scribbled all over it? Who, have you ever scribbled all over a library book? Hands up if you've ever... Get out! No, that's fine. <laughs> you can stay. You can stay. Um, now, this is from uh, Primary 3A and 3B at Longhaw Primary School in Dundee. Hello there. Uh, how did Alan Taylor come to be so rich and how did he get his electric muscles? Right, so this is Alan Taylor, who's a uh, tiny little gingerbread man with electric muscles. And um, he sort of speaks like, I'm Alan Taylor, walking up the hill. I'm Alan Taylor, feeling very ill. Blah. Oh, shouldn't have had that curry last night. So he's like that. And he's got electric muscles, and he's really rich. 
I'm Alan Taylor, feeling very rich. I'm Alan Taylor, falling in a ditch. And uh, um, how did he get rich? I think you find out in book five that he got very rich by driving a taxi cab in London. Okay. And so he's tiny. It was a full-size taxi cab. So he was a rubbish driver because mm -hmm. he's only about that big. So passengers used to get into the taxi and then they'd get so terrified of how bad his driving was that um, they would pay extra to get out early. So he got quite rich. He became a billionaire. Fantastic. From being a bad driver. Oh, I'm quite small. Maybe that could work for me. Maybe it Glasgow. could. Yeah, good. Um, uh, Zane, Carla, George and Jessica, Hindland Primary School, not too far from here, in Glasgow. Um, I think we might know the answer to this question. How often do you shave? Uh, um, well, you know, <laughs> you know Halley's Comet? Yeah. Yeah, it comes around, what, about once every 76 years? Yeah. Yeah. OK. Halley's Comet. <laughs> but Andrew at Came School says, I like your beard. How long did it take to grow? Uh, well, funnily enough, I did shave last night. Really? Yeah, it's all come back. <laughs> so uh, this, is a, this is an average morning's growth. Yeah. For me. He's all man. I'm quite <laughs> assumed. <laughs> Katie at St John's Green School in Colchester. That's quite far away from here. Hello. Hope you're watching. She says, I really like your stories and my mum reads them to me at bedtime and she laughs at them too. Did you mean to write books that grown-ups would laugh at too? Uh, yeah. I like, you know, anyone who laughs at my books, that's a good thing, isn't it? Um, Sometimes you don't, you don't get... I'm, I like it if kids laugh at my books, if adults laugh at my books, if cats laugh at my books. I'm a bit confused, but that's all right. Uh, anyone can laugh at my books. I don't think you're ever too old to have a really good laugh. What's annoying is when you don't get too many good reviews. I remember I was talking about one of my books once to some kids just like you lot. And I mentioned one of my books, and I went... Uh, and I've written a book called Mr. Gum and the Power Crystals. I don't have it with me. And this kid went, oh, I've read that, 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 I've read that. I went, oh, right, did you like it? And she went, yeah, it's all right. <laughs> that was a bit weird. Sometimes you don't get very good reviews. Once a kid came up to me in a signing afterwards, and he went, you're my favourite author. Well, top three, actually. <laughs> so kids are very honest like that. But if you want to laugh at my books, you're very welcome to. If your parents want to laugh at my books, also very welcome to. If you just want to throw money at me, fine. <laughs> Do what you like.